Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. Well, we're going to make a very, very special video for some very, very special people indeed. Without further ado, I'll introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Gracivia Labud. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Today is a most especially, especially for you, video. Miss Mel, Mr. James, and the loveliest children in the world, Paris and Alex. This video is especially for you. Just smile. Very well done, Miss Ivy Flight. Let's storm the entrance of this wonderful four-star luxury hotel. There it is. It's the Imperial Beach Hotel in downtown Cato Paphos. And as tradition goes, we're going to follow the rear end of Miss Ochin Gracivia Labou. Shall we go and have a little look? Do you think we're not going to be thrown now? Well, I hope not. I have watched the security guard wandering around, but hopefully we can blend in as tourists. Let's get a bit of luck behind no, we us. Here we go. Yes, go on. Through the main doors, Labou. You go in the wrong way as usual. That's it. There we go. You swear she's never been here before. Let's get through into that main foyer and let's show these beautiful people what's going on in this hotel. Have a look at that. That's where Miss Julie hangs out, by the way. That's the Tui rep, and I know her pretty well. So if you want to go on a cruise or something like that, that's where you would go. And she's there from most mornings from around nine o'clock. Let's go this way, Naboo. You're going the wrong way at the moment. We haven't shown the full yet. We'll come back to that. We'll come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the main restaurant. Right. Stick with us. Receiving the booth orientation is absolutely terrible. Right, Mr. James, stick with us. Mel, Alex, Miss Paris, here we go. We're we'll gonna have a little snoop around. Have a look at the main reception and foyer. Have a look at that. Wow, this is a nice hotel. Where are we going? What is our way out? Right, let's get back towards the reception. Let's get our coordination back. And hopefully that security guard, he's just over there, is gonna leave us alone. These are your main lifts all the way up four lifts because it's a lovely multi-story hotel what have you got to say Labou? that's your twin that's your twin Labou. and that's your other twin my god stick with us let's get out down those stairs to that beautiful beautiful restaurant yes Labou? yes queen anne chairs can have a seat go on, go on have a look stick with us we've been a bit brave today it seems to be quite busy over there in the reception, so stick with us. There we go. Have a look at that. Just imagine sitting there. Absolutely spectacular. That could be Miss Mel. And this can be Mr. James. Wow. And then the kids can take over. Come on, receive the booth. That receptionist is watching us. Stick with us. We're going to storm downstairs to the main restaurant and show you where you're going to get your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. Have a look at that. How do you say that, Labou? Amorosa Restaurant. Amorosa Restaurant. Now that's a manager. Receive your Labou? That doesn't look good. Storm down those steps, straight out that entrance, because that's a manager in a blue shirt, so stick with us. Hopefully, we don't get shoved out. Let's go straight to Lovely. Absolutely spectacular. So stick with us. Here we go. Ah, we'll have a quick drink. Here we go. Thanks very much. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. We say, we say yamas. 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 Cheers. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank Absolute you. star. Thank you. Right. Let's storm the restaurant and let's see what's going on. Here we go. That is better. Have a look at that. It's a lovely, lovely restaurant. Straight out. There it is. That's the main restaurant area. They're getting ready for tonight's dinner. Look at the steam coming off that over there, Labouf. What a nice restaurant. Stick with us. Well. Only for inside. Outside, we're all right. Here we go. We're not going to stay inside. No, we're not going to stay inside. We're outside. Have a Actually, look at that. I, I thought we were going to be thrown out. Well, we they, just walked past two managers. One was the restaurant manager well, and one was the hotel anything. manager. You don't drink anything. Exactly. You have to drink. Right, stick with us. We're still being watched from the distance over there because I think the gentleman has understood that we're not guests and he's understanding that we're not supposed to be here. Anyway, stick with us. We take great pleasure the lawyer the management of these hotels if you follow us have a look at that that's one of the outside you know, sitting to, areas I want to say how nice that sometimes you can make somebody full 
yeah, sometimes we can act the fool and get away with it, and that's what we've done. Have a look at the exterior of this hotel and the beautiful, beautiful swimming pool area. Have a look at that. Absolutely spectacular. 6.30 in the evening. There's not that many people around, but guess what? You can go swimming, you can sunbathe, you've got a fun slide over there, you've got a more private area over here. Have a look at that. Absolutely yeah, spectacular. Yeah. There's a mask. Get that mask, Booth. There we go. Now we're safe. We'll pop back into the restaurant, and you never know, we might get to get an evening meal because they never asked us for the room number. So, do you feel brave afterwards? Should we go back in and have something to eat? Hey, it's just very easy. You just think of one room number, but you have to be aware which room number and then say it is empty, can I imagine? There we go. Now, I'm, I'm wondering now, I wonder if Mr. James and Miss Mel are actually booked in here. Perhaps they're going to try that routine. Fly into Paphos and then check in here for a couple of weeks without actually checking in. Yeah. Stay underneath someone's bed, yeah. eat someone's yeah. breakfast, eat someone's lunch, yeah. and eat someone's evening meal. What do you think of that? Oh my God, It's not a bad idea, is it? It's not a bad idea. Now, just over there, Miss Mel, Mr. James, we're going to have to fight our way through it. If you fancy going for a little dip, in this little well, shallow end shall we say but it's got a bit of a fun slide so if you and the kids want to go well i think receiving a booth might get a feet wet what do you say the booth you're going to go across that's it get the mask on i feel drunk i feel drunk by the way i don't drink only coca-cola what was that that we drank it was quite strong blue lagoon drink blue lagoon drink right stick with us as we go for a little wander over yonder because a lot of people come to Cyprus not only for a great hotel and a nice place to snooze but they come here for something very very special indeed and guess what out the back door of this hotel you've got something that's absolutely to die for it's absolutely spectacular and it's called the blue 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 mediterranean sea stick with us as we take you out and show you the beauty and the spectacality of it have a look at that wow the bird the bird, the bird? there he is there's a bird he's found a mask he's got himself his very own face mask and he's thinking about popping in and eating my dinner come on receiving the book let's have a quick look out over here now mr james did mention was there a well i think you call them sports isn't it aqua sports facilities and there is straight over here literally out the back door of your hotel and have a look at that it's like its own private little marina and it's got all sorts of things going on water sports to die for that's for sure octopuses the banana ride it's got jet skis paddling boats canoes so guess what if you want to get yourself down to Cato Paphos and have a great, great holiday, get yourself on a big bird or on a canoe and start pedaling like crazy. It's going to give you the greatest holiday in the world. Have you seen that, Labou? Wow. Look at that. Beauty, in the, the distance, colors. there's a bit of parasailing going on. Parasailing, 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 parasailing. So, receive your Labou. You know, I, uh, I was a little bit shocked that a few last few times we had to tell lies to all the managers, restaurant managers, to the receptionist and the general manager of the hotel. But it doesn't matter as long as we are doing the good job and bringing to the hearts of our lovely people a bit of fun, a bit of happiness. Why not? This is a lie for good. Correct? Correct. So here we go. We are at the rear of your hotel, Mr. James, Miss Mel. And if you go out of the back door and take a left, walk for around about 15 to 20 minutes, you're going to arrive at the Rikos Beach, which is possibly the best beach in Paphos. And there are an array of beach bars and that kind of thing to keep you amused. If you come out of the back door of your hotel and go right, well, we're just going to show you exactly where you are. There's a further sunbathing area and there is the water sports so you haven't got far to walk and then if you keep walking along what's called the hotel coastal pathway you've got the rambo ice cream literally one minute along on your right hand side and if you keep going for around about 20 minutes you are going to arrive in downtown Cato Paphos promenade another 10 minutes and you're in the harbor so if you're looking for us two naughty little monkeys that's where you're going to find us most evenings from seven o'clock on if we're not around pop into the gelalamo 
because we're normally there from 8.30 on trying to get a free drink. Although invariably, we end up paying for it. Prasivia? Well, you know, uh, I would like to tell you all that that's a very, very homish and hospitality hotel. The hotel where everybody meet you as like you were, you were a member of a family and you were missing so, so long. Even us, they have never met us, they have never seen us. I don't think they thought that we are the guests of the hotel, but I believe they just wanted to bring the hospitality of them to us and then we did drink these drinks and I don't know how to carry Mr. Paul home now. Yeah, to be honest, I think they fully understood exactly who we are. That was the actual manager of the hotel, the guy across the door that offered the drink. That was the restaurant manager of the hotel. They didn't let on, but I think they knew. I'm not trying to say that we're famous, but there's a bit of chitter chitter chatter going around all the hotels. And if they see an idiot with a blue hat and sunglasses and an absolute beauty, well, I think they know who we are. Because some of the hotels actually open their arms to us now, which is great and much much appreciated because all we're trying to do is spread the love of Paphos, the beauty of Paphos and we're trying to invite as many people as possible to come down to Paphos, to rejuvenate Paphos and to take Paphos to back to where it was which is possibly the greatest place in the world to go on your holiday. So Miss Mel, Mr James, Paris, Alex, you're going to have a great, great time when you get down here. Get off that big bird, get on the bus, get to this hotel and let that party begin. We're going to walk back to the pool and we're going to pan round and show you the restaurants. I can see the manager and he's actually seen us again, but he's now decided to walk back in. Perhaps he's not allowed to greet us with open arms. Perhaps that's what it is. But I do think he knows who we are because he could have called security. We don't look dressed like tourists, but they offered us a drink with open arms, as Grisivio Labouf said, and they treated us with great respect. So we're gonna treat them with great respect and say this is truly a great, great hotel. Have a look at that. And here is a further outside eating restaurant. This is where they have birthday parties. You can see there's something going on there. That's a bridal. So that's a hen night party that's going to go on tonight because obviously they do hold weddings at this hotel as well. So, Grisivia Le Bouffe, let's have a nice big, big Mr. goodbye. Mr. Uh, it's, it it's a hen yeah, night. It's a hen night. See that there? See the balloons? So yeah. this is where the girls are going to party tonight and possibly the boys are going to party around Paphos and probably tomorrow they're going to get married. On the hen nights, the women are allowed? They are allowed, yeah. Okay. So well, big I would like to say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. We totally enjoyed the walk around this lovely hotel, hospitality hotel, and the lovely friendly people from the top up to the uh, little uh, member of staff. I would like to tell you that you have to come to see another of our lovely madnesses, Miss Mel, Mr. James. I hope that you totally, totally enjoyed as we did and Paris and Alex will be happy staying in this lovely hotel. Kissing you a lot and many, many hugs and kisses from the bottom of our two hearts. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and if you do like what you see, please hit the like, click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness. We'll leave you with the rear end of the Sivia Labrie. There we are. She's now working out if she can be an extra hen at this party. Am I invited? If you wish. Oh, it's great pleasure. Let's have a big goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. And... Thanks for watching. <laughs>